Yeah, you were. You've been. You've had your hand up for a while. Mm -hmm. Never ever going to be like I buy it from CD Japan. Um, if you buy it from CD Japan, if you're buying an R2 release, then there's nothing wrong with that, as far as I'm concerned. Like, I'm not the import and embargo guy. I'm sure there's somebody that would have a problem with that, but yeah. my problem with that is nothing because the money still goes to the Japanese. Okay, see, the thing is, there was one of them that I liked from Across 7. Oh. Which I There are monstrous licensing problems with Macross 7. Um, and the licensing issues are unfortunately legal and there's nothing we can do about them. But, uh-huh. About the thing about, we're, we're not breaking the law because we're not charging anything. Do the DVDs now say in their disclaimer that they are not Oh, yeah. Well, the Iron Rat has always been pretty good at protecting their money. They even change. Uh, they even change what our real laws are to keep bringing that Mickey Mouse money in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, any intellectual property will have that on it. Oh no, they don't care. Honestly, they really do not care. The whole idea is to get it out to an American audience fast. Here's some statistics on fan subs, by the way. 24 hours after something airs on television in Japan, it is uploaded in raw format. Sometimes less than that. Within one week, it is translated into over 14 languages, including Finnish. Okay, now the deal with that is, and I'm not picking it, somebody's like, well, why'd you say that about the Finnish? It's just not the thing that you think will be uh, the, the choice and sub language. But um, the problem with that is that one digital seed can supply that file to millions of people. And when it's that common, why, why would you buy it? Why would you spend your money on it?